What's up, everybody? I'm here with Jay, and he right now he's in his car uh, driving, and uh, <laughs> we're and we're filming. Happy Saturday, everybody, and this is his NFL week nine. Week nine prediction. So the first one we have on my TV that I have all the NFL game so the first one we have that we're going to start off with is the lines at the vikings oh cool starting big starting big great right, chain oh man well not only is that but that kenny galladay is also out i know isn't that so sad he always gets hurt kenny galladay yeah i'm thinking uh i'm thinking Marvin Jones jr is gonna have a big game yep I think uh, I think they're going to do all right. I think they're going to do all right. The Lions are going to win, actually. Yeah, the Lions are three and four. The Vikings are two and five. You know. I think the Vikings barely got past the Packers. They shouldn't have won that game. They should have won, but that's good that they beat the Packers. But the Packers yeah, won. Good. But the Packers beat the Forty ers on Thursday Night Football. They destroyed them. They destroy them. You know. Yeah. They just because Jimmy Caroppolo got season-ending surgery. I didn't know it was season ending. That's, that's terrible. That's what they said, supposedly. So, um... I think, is that, I think their quarterback named Dutton or something? I don't even know. I don't know. It's, uh, that's what they're saying. But, um, we have Lions at Packers. I meant Lions at Vikings. <laughs> Oops, pardon me. What, what? I botched what, what it. Lions at Vikings. Lions at Vikings. Oh, Lions all day, man. Lions all day, but don't forget about Matthew Stafford, everybody. He was at a high risk with the contact person, and I think it was with Clayton. I think Chase Daniels going to play. I mean, they're acting like what's going to happen. I, they're acting like Stafford's going to play, from what I hear. Yeah, they're acting like he's going to play, which that's a positive sign, so, but I think they're going to play Chase. Might, he might actually play, because I think his protocol ends on Sunday. On Sunday, so and Sunday, yep. So I think Stafford's going to play Sunday, which that's a good thing. But I want to see Chase Daniels. That's the thing. I was going to say, man, like it's a good thing, but I kind of do want to see Chase Daniel. I do. Matthew Stafford hasn't been all that top, especially in killed against the Colts. Philip Rivers killed us. Yeah, they destroyed us, man. Our defense needs to pick it up, though. I mean, the Colts haven't put those points up against anybody this year. Exactly, right? I, I was just surprised by that. I was so upset when we lost Shane. I was you know? very surprised by that. I can't believe Philip Rivers right. killed us. The older quarterback, Philip Rivers. I was just surprised. Do we have any high draft picks next season? Um, next next year we have the best cap space in the NFL. We have all, a lot of money. Okay, good. We got we got to fix our defense. We got to fix our sure. defense. Maybe low line stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so lions. So Shane's picking the lions. Yes, sir. I believe we can win this game. Now we have the Panthers at the Chiefs. Oh man, tough game. Tough team. Um, I'm going with the Chiefs, obviously. I think it's I think it's hard to push against the Chiefs of any team right now. The Panthers have lost to some bad teams. They beat some good teams, but I think the Chiefs still have that uh, that energy, that championship energy. I know they still do, and I can't stand the Chiefs. I don't like Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I think they got this game though. Yep, I think they do too. The Chiefs, but stay tuned for my prediction. It's going to happen on Sunday, so stay yeah, tuned. I'm not, I'm not going to give it out to everybody, so stay tuned. Now we have the Giants at Washington football team, and I don't like that guy uh, that hurts quarterbacks. The what? I don't like that guy that hurts quarterbacks. Who's that? On the Giants? That John guy, that guy that hurts quarterbacks, that goes for the tackle and tries to elbow them in the head or something. I forget his name, but he's the one that put Andy Dalton out on the Washington football team. He's where? He's the guy that put Andy Dalton out on the Washington football oh, team. So that's okay. who the Giants are playing. I know you're talking about. Yeah, he's that dirty football player guy on the Washington team. Uh, I'm going with Washington here, man. I think they uh, they lost to the Giants by one point last time. And, and uh, their defense is better. Daniel Jones looks like he's actually going backwards in his skill. <laughs> and I think that Kyle Allen's actually uh, he's looking good right now. He really is. Yeah, they held, I think they played the, the Cowboys last time. And they held them at three points. Yep, that's pretty what they good. held them to. Pretty good. But Tampa Bay, they almost lost to the Giants. And Tom Brady kept... They, that's they, true, that is true. And Tom that's Brady true. kept banging his head on his helmet, too. I'm still going with Washington here. Going with Washington. Now we have the Texans at the Jaguars. Uh, well, Gardner Minshew is out. 
Wow, the quarterback. I'm very, very interested in this game, man. They got this kid. His name's Jake Watton. He's he's uh, the QB for the Jaguars. Back whatever happened to Blake? Jaguars. Whatever happened to Blake Bortles? He's a rookie. Wow. He looks good, dude. I'm actually excited to see him play. I so, think he's gonna. I think he's gonna do good. I think the Jags win this. Wow. So who are you picking? The Jags. I'm picking the Jags. But, well, don't forget the Lions play the Texans on Thanksgiving coming up soon. I think we got that game too. Yeah, no, and then we have to play Washington, and then we have to play the Panthers. So lines have easy schedule soon. Yeah. Now we have now we have the Bears coach Jim's team, the Bears at the Tennessee oh. Titans. Oh. Who are they playing against? Bears at Titans. Which the Bears That's lost, right. and I was so happy you last week. Titans, Shane's Titans. Let me tell you. Oh uh, man, this is uh, this is, I've been going back and forth with this one. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with my Titans. Now, are we gonna get this tweet from Seth? Hold on, Shane. I hate meaning to cut you off. Are we gonna get this tweet from Seth Rollins? I love football. Are we gonna get this tweet from Seth Rollins because he's a Bears fan? I love football, or I hate football. Okay, is that what, you said? what are we gonna get from Seth Rollins? Which tweet on Sunday? Is it gonna be happier, Seth? I'm gonna. I'm thinking we're getting a sad one. I'll be honest. Yes, I think so too. I think we're getting a negative, a negative I, one here. Now, so we're going to get this one after the game, after 1 o'clock, I hate football <laughs> tweet. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should have teared down the field like the whole game. Sorry, Seth. Sorry, Coach Jim, but uh, Shane's picking the Titans. They're the Bears. What did you say? Their O-line's really, uh, really messed up with COVID. Oh, they have COVID, the Bears? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so a bunch of their guys in their offensive line are, uh, are uh, sitting out. Wow, that's really terrible now for their playoff chances in first place on the line. I wonder how long they'll sit them, though. You know, they don't seem like they keep Matt that long anymore, like maybe a week or two. Yeah, maybe a week or two, but hopefully Matthew Stafford plays Sunday, I'm praying, you know? Yeah. So now we have the Broncos at the Falcons, uh, two worst teams ever. I don't really care about this game. I think the Broncos can actually win this game. It's unfortunate they beat our Chargers by one point last Sunday. Who? They, the, they beat the Chargers? Yeah, by one point. 30 wow, to 31. Because the referees were helping the Broncos. Didn't even realize that. Yep. Um, I'm going to go with the Broncos here, man. Yeah, I think the Falcons put up a lot of points, but I think the Broncos have a lot of weapons. They're missing, they're missing some guys. Yep. But I think their defense has enough to maybe hold Matt Ryan. I think the Broncos win. Yep, and now we have the, so you're going with the Broncos, okay. Yeah. So now we have the Ravens at the Colts. Come on, Shane, you can't pick the Colts for this one. I There's know you. another one, man. <laughs> I've been like uh, up and down on um, Philip Rivers. It's hard for me to tell like, how he's going to play again, ever, ever, any, any Sunday. And the, especially against the Colts, man, they have the best defense against the Colts. They do. I, I was surprised how they kept stopping the Lions. And I was like watching the game on Sunday, and I was like this. You were right, Shane. I was like this. You yeah. were right last they're, Sunday. They're I said, good. Their defense is insane. And when the first, and when the Lions first scored, I said this. Boy, I think this is going to be a good win for the Lions. And then I was like this. Yeah. And then everything goes topsy turvy. I was like this. No, no. But who are you picking, Shane? Philip Rivers to get uh, the it's, win? It's terrible. The Lions. The Lions are great at, at heartbreaking games, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. They break our the hearts every year. To the Look, I'm going to grab this uh, Matthew Stafford bleacher creature. Matthew Stafford, come on, Lions. What are you yeah. doing? Let's let's go. We're wasting money all over you. Get a Super Bowl for us I, I this year. Know, I don't know how I'm going. I'm going with the Colts. Going with the Colts? Oh, good. I'm glad you're I picking. Think, I think they have the best chance of stopping Lamar, and there's some teams that have stopped Lamar that aren't as good defensively. I agree. So, I think the Colts win. I'm going to pick the Colts. Shane's going with the Colts, everybody. Now we have the Seahawks at Buffalo Bills. Oh, you got to go with Russell Wilson, I believe. Russell Wilson and Josh Allen. Another tough one, man. Another tough one indeed, Shane. give up the most, uh, the highest yards percentage passing-wise. I'm, sur I'm surprised you know all this, Shane. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I didn't even realize the Seahawks did that either. It's, and they've been like that the entire season. And they have a winning the record? Game. And they have a winning record. They're six and three. Are they? Are, are the Chiefs two losses? No, wait. Are, are they six and six and one? Six, oh, six and six and one. Pardon me. Six and one. No, because that would only be seven games, right? Six and one. Yep. Actually, six and one. They're six and one. That's crazy. That's crazy considering how much yards they 
hard to give up uh, on the past. It really I is. Think, um, hmm. I guess I'm going to have to go with the Seahawks. I just made my shocking face, by the way. <laughs> it's, a tough, it's a tough one, man. Because you don't know if you can trust in the Bills. You really don't. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm switching, dude. Shane, uh, switching, like, everybody. This is a shocker right now. Let me do my shocking face. Hold on. Just did it. He's picking the Bills, everybody. He picked Josh Allen. He's going with Josh Allen. Stay tuned for my predictions, everybody. Stay tuned for it tomorrow. He's strong, man. He's very strong. Stephon Diggs is playing. He's playing good ball. Now we have the Raiders at the Chargers. Oh, no. Come on, Herbert. This has to be your game. I mean, the Chargers. I'll go with the Chargers, dude. I can't stand the Raiders. I hate that. I hate, uh, uh, what's his name? Derek Carr. I'm not a big fan of Derek Carr. He has I said, think Justin Herbert takes this. Come on. I, I mean, Chargers are having... Chargers are having... I hate to tell you this, Shane. Our backup team, the Chargers, are having such a horrible losing season. They're 2-5. and five. We're not in the playoffs this year. We'll see. We'll see what happens, you know? Yeah. I just feel so bad for him. Like, he tries to win, and then the defense gives up on him. But come on. Come on, Herbert, you know? But we got to beat the Raiders, you know? But anyway, uh, he picking the Chargers? Yeah, absolutely. Gotta go, gotta beat the Las Vegas Raiders for the first time. Now we have the Steelers at the Cowboys. I know who you're picking. It's <laughs> the, not a matter of who's gonna win. Because they're, they're, un, they're undefeated. <laughs> yeah, the Steelers are definitely gonna win this. Mm -hmm. They lost, it'll be the big upset in, I don't know, possibly NFL history. Yep. They're gonna remain undefeated still during the COVID There's year. No way they now we have the Dolphins at the Cardinals. Oh, you like the Cardinals, Shane. I can tell. It's another tough one, man. I, I do like the Cardinals but, here. But the guy from Alabama, what's his name? Uh, t t t Tua? Tua. He didn't even put up 100 yards last week, so no. I don't know. I don't uh, know. It's hard to tell how he's going to play. It's hard to believe Cardinals in him. Cardinals are still pretty good uh, against the Pats. I mm -hmm. think the Cardinals definitely win. I think... Uh, stay tuned for my predictions. I keep getting out <laughs> my predictions with you. <laughs> so hard. Now we have a good Sunday night football matchup, Shane. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. Because this is a game that's on the line for the tie, for the division, to tie up the division in the... And you want me to tell you it's for a tie in the division. This could be for the tie. It's for the NFC South, right? Yeah. We have the Saints, Drew Brees, versus 5-2. and two. Versus six and two, Tom Brady. For the tie in the division. And didn't Tom Brady play on Monday Night Football? Yeah, he did. So it's a short week for him. So it's a short week. And the Saints are pretty good at putting up points and numbers and stopping them. Yeah, they are. So I know who. I think they do. I, I I have a feeling, too, that it's going to be a tie in that division. Yeah, I think so. I, I can't stand Tom Brady. I really don't want him to win the division, though. No, me neither, man. I really want Drew Brees to get it. And now we go on to the... I don't even know why this is going to be televised on ESPN. I think it should have been the Lions versus the Vikings televised game for Monday Night Football. But I don't know why this is a Monday Night Football game. We have the Patriots at the Jets. Are you still there? Yeah. Are you laughing right now? I, I don't know why they keep matching up these NFC East guys in prime time. They're all terrible. It should be lines on prime time, you know? Yeah. Give I, mean, us... I, I think it'd be funny if the Jets won. I uh, think that's, that's I'm going to laugh because right now the Patriots, let me tell you what the record is right now. They're 2-5, and uh, five, Jets are 0-8, and, and the Patriots can still lose. <laughs> I mean... The Patriots record is terrible. <laughs> I think the Jets, I, I, I don't want to say the Jets are going to win. Yeah. Uh, but I think that they might keep it close, man. I think it could be a close game. <gasps> I think it might, but the Patriots are just terrible this year, and I'm It'll laughing. It would be hilarious if the Jets won. It's I think it will hilarious. be, too. And I'm glad it's a Monday Night Football primetime game for November 9th. So I just think so it's... Belichick would be so mad. <laughs> He'll be so mad yelling at his locker room guys in, in, in New Jersey. In New York, yeah. so he's gonna be so livid if he loses. Yeah, he'd, be, he'd be so mad. It'd be so mad. It's gonna be funny. And and, and now who are you picking, Shane? Patriots or Jets? Uh, I'm gonna be so mad if the Jets 
two here and pick the Jets. Okay, he's going to be giving the Jets his first win, you know. That's a pretty bold prediction right there, Dave, picking the <laughs> Jets. Bold, right? He's picking the Jets, everybody. So, yeah. I'm saying a prayer right now in my Hail Marys for the Jets to finally pick up their first win against the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. and why are the Lions and Vikings on Monday Night Football? Don't you think that should be a good game? I think it will be a good game. It's so embarrassing, you know. The Lions and the Vikings? Yes, on Monday Night Football. Oh, uh, you mean the Patriots and the Lions? I mean, why is it the Patriots versus Jets and not Lions versus Vikings for Monday Night Football? Yeah. That just bothers yeah, that me. Yeah, embarrassing. But anyway, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. Like, subscribe. Let's go, guys. Like and subscribe. Come on, we need more subscribers to for for these for these football predictions. Cause Shane Shane does this for you guys, and it's really fun a lot to to hear his predictions. And then stay tuned for my predictions. And then, so don't forget to wear your face mask. And maybe Joe Biden's the new president by then. <laughs> I had to get that in there. Sorry, Shane. He, he might be at this point. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> he might be at this point. You never know. And don't forget, guys, the NBA season is returning December 22nd. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Was it 70-something 70, 70 game? 72. Sweet. Can't wait for that. So let's go Celtics. <laughs> yep. Go. Gordon Hare is opting out, unfortunately. Who? Gordon Hayward's opting out. Is he? <laughs> yes. That's not a joke. No, it's not. What do you mean he's opting out? He wants out. Of, he wants out of Boston. He wants out of Boston. Wow, dude, that's huge news. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now that's we have crazy. to trade him. I didn't him. know that. I had no idea. I'm pranking you, Shane. Are you really? Yeah. No, I'm not. It's yeah. true. It's true. It's true. He does <laughs> want out of Boston. No, no, I'm not pranking you. It's true, it's true. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go so I can tell Shane the story, okay? Peace out, everybody. Wear your face mask. Don't be like...